So Wabi Sabi Love is about learning to love your own imperfections and especially those of your spouse. So it's for any couple that wants to have more love, more fun, more compassion, more connection in their relationship. And I'll tell you a quick story to explain how it works. So I have these friends, Jerry and Diane, and Jerry has an addiction. He's addicted to poppy seed bagels. So every time he gets up in the morning, he goes in the kitchen, he grabs a bagel, he slices it, and it sends thousands of little black poppy seeds scattering all over Diane's white tile floor. So every morning, Diane gets up, she goes in the kitchen, she wets a paper towel, and she gets on her hands and knees, and she literally wipes up these thousands of black poppy seeds. And most mornings, it's not a problem for her. But one morning she was in a bad mood and she had this thought in her head, how do I never do this again? Which was followed by the thought, oh, that would mean Jerry's no longer with me. And she began to cry and she got off the floor and she ran to her husband and she told him how much she loved him and she gave him a big hug. And then every morning after that, as she was on her hands and knees, wiping up the poppy seeds, her heart would just fill with love because those poppy seeds now meant that she had another day to spend with Jerry. So that's a wabi-sabi shift in perception. It's taking something that once made you crazy that you now love about yourself or your partner. Isn't that incredible? Wouldn't you want to do that for yourself? Let me tell you a personal story of how I learned about Wabi Sabi. So one day I found myself like this in front of my husband and I was just ragging on him about God knows what and I stopped and I said to him, Bri, the next time this happens and unfortunately I think there's going to be a next time, could you just sort of sweetly, kindly say to me, when did Sheila enter the room? Now Sheila's my mom's name and I love my mother to death but she can be a little bossy and overbearing, and that's how I was being in that moment. And he totally got it, and he said, yes, and the next time I'm being too patronizing, you can just say to me, oh, I see Wayne's here. That was his dad's name. And very quickly, we created these code names to avoid World War III, because being like this could have gone downhill really fast. It could have exploded into a lot of nastiness. And now, whenever I get a little too like this, he just sort of whispers to me, oh, I see Sheila's here, and then we crack up laughing. So Wabi Sabi's about going from what I called annoyed to enjoyed. It's about looking to find something that once made you nuts and find the good in it, or find the funny way to talk about it, or somehow to lighten things up and take the significance out. Because I promise you, when your partner is dead and gone, you're going to be begging for the days they left their wet towel on the floor or they left the drawer open or they did the thing that you used to complain about. You will be missing that. So transform it now and you'll have a longer, happier life together. Here's how you implement Wabi Sabi into your life. First, you have to understand that you've been brainwashed. We've all been brainwashed by society to seek perfection. We think we should be perfect, our spouse, our kids, our jobs, our bodies, all of that we're supposed to be perfect. That's what society and the media tells us. But the truth is, the seeking of perfection leads to disappointment, frustration, unhappiness. And why? Because it's not possible. Perfection doesn't exist. In fact, I believe perfection should be called pure fiction. So tip number one, give up the quest for perfection, okay? It absolutely doesn't exist. So tip number two is when your spouse is doing something that's making you crazy, rather than make them bad and wrong, see if you can reframe it as a gift, that they're doing this behavior to make you a more loving, kind, compassionate person. Strive to become a wabi-sabi artisan. Tip number three is the most important one. It's about personal responsibility. It's up to us to make ourselves happy. Your spouse is not here on the planet to make you happy. You're here on the planet to make yourself happy. And your spouse just adds to your happiness. They're the icing on the cake. So what do you need to do 
Do you need to do some personal growth work? Do you need to take some courses? Are there books to read? Do you need a coach? Do you need a therapist? Should you be meditating? How about eating right and exercise? These are things that you have control over. You can't control anybody else's behavior. You can't make anybody else change, but you do have control over you. So personal responsibility is the path of the wabi-sabi artisan.